This is Zurich, and our walkthrough of the day is the MFO Park. As a starting point, a park could be seen as a very simple and straightforward project. MFO is a very different approach to what a traditional park is, but this new proposal brings a lot of alternatives and uses. I see it more as a plaza at different levels and with multiple uses. The park is in the Oerlikon quarter of the city. This area is located north of the center of Zurich and has been redeveloped in the last 20 years from a purely industrial area to a new neighborhood. In 1988, the planning to transform the area of Erlikon, an industrial area of Zurich, started. And in the edge of the 21st century, Beckhardt and Partner won the competition to build a new green space in the heart of this neighborhood that was inaugurated in summer of 2002. The park, named MFO after the machine factory Uerlikon, uses the footprint of one of the buildings of the factory. This park, along with two more in the area, were part of several interventions done to bring a new life and use to a location of the city where weapons used to be manufactured. Without any walls, the structure of the park emulates a building. With 100 meter long, 34 meter wide and 18 meters high, it's the biggest pergola in the world. It is a double-walled construction. 
open in three sides and covered by all kinds of climbing plants. The space between the two walls contains stairs, balconies and platforms at different heights and a sun deck on the roof. And the central space of the park works like a versatile area that is suitable for sports, meetings, concerts, events, screenings. I classify the park with three layers within the project, outside, inside the walls and the central atrium. I find it very interesting how all these spaces work as in a theatre. A huge central stage surrounded by balconies and viewpoints at different heights, and the space within the theatre but outside. Even if there's no event going on in the atrium, the play goes on every day. Vegetation is the soul of this project, a dress that changes along the year with different colours and foliage. The architects and the landscape architects selected 104 varieties of perennial woody vines and creepers, based on their heights and foliage specifications. This translates in a building with many personalities and changes in color and density. Spring and summer create a very dense and full of green mass, autumn is the red color season, and winter leaves the most of the structure visible with the fall of the leaves. Perennial vegetation is as well a concept used very widely in architecture in general. During summer, the foliage creates shadows and keeps temperatures lower inside the plaza, making it easier to use the spaces. In winter, with the fall of the leaves, all the light and heat from the sun passes through, making the park a bit more usable during the colder seasons. And that's my take on the MFO Park and some info on this beautiful, beautiful project. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. I will be posting a lot more in the coming weeks. And let me know in the comment section below if you already knew the project and what it is that you like about it the most. If you'd like to learn more and investigate about the project, I'll leave some links in the description with information. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.